Mark, what just happened? Well, as we're sitting here watching the outgoing tide with the nice current here in the mouth of the Santa Ana River, we saw what looked like a regular wave coming in, except unlike the ordinary surf surge is coming in, this one had a wave on the back of it and another wave on the back of it, another wave on the back. Each of these was only a few inches high, but overall they came up to maybe five or six inches and continued upstream and, and propagated inland quite a ways. So we think that may have been one of the first of the smaller waves of the tsunami. Now this may happen again, we'll have an outgoing surge where the water level will drop an equal amount, and then an hour from now or half an hour from now there may be another incoming wave. So we'll keep watching. So they're mostly very, very small changes. So far they're very, very small and, and we're only expecting something as much as eight inches above, above the sea level at the time it comes in. But it has eight inches coming in, then another eight inches below going out. So there'll be almost a foot and a half change we could see. Okay. What would it be like if one of the major offshore faults broke? Well, if we had a tsunami from one of those, first of all, we'd feel a very strong earthquake. And where we're standing, we'd probably see sand blows because there'd be lots of liquefaction. But the tsunami from that could be a meter or two meters or even four meters high. So we're talking waist high, head high, or double overhead, as surfers say. And this would not be the place to stand for such an event because it would, it would be deadly.